Coaches are always looking for ways to motivate their players. And yesterday, that motivation came in the form of former Ticats great Grover Covington. Coach Belfay asked Covington to speak to his team about team unity, and the D-lineman immediately said yes. Not only was he eager to speak with the players, but he also loves returning to the city he called home for 11 years. This is, this is definitely great memories here. Yeah. yeah, and I was happy to win a championship here. So this was, uh, it's nothing like it. While in town, Covington attended the Ticats annual Wall of Honor dinner, an event he was honored at in 2004. During his career, the CFL All-Star made four Grey Cup appearances and was named the league's most outstanding defensive player in 1988. He says that his playing days in Hamilton were some of the best, particularly because of his coach's approach to defense. You know, I came here and I knew it was a, a town of uh, steel workers, tough town, and, uh, and defense was uh, number one. And so they, they just kind of gave us free reign as far as, as a D-line, you really appreciate that because when your coach say you don't have to protect a linebacker, but you know what though, you guys just go get them. If I could just hug me a quarterback, I know the fans, I mean, I'm being honest, if I could just get one, I just know, it just get our defense going. Covington still has the same passion for football he's always had and stays connected to the game by coaching his 17-year-old son, a talented D-tackle who's caught the eye of college coaches in Canada and the U.S. I, I know why people, they love, I enjoy watching him because he's my son though, but he is, he, he works hard. Although Covington's son now plays on the D-line like he did, at one point he was interested in playing on the other side of the ball. He wanted to be a quarterback. And you said no way. <laughs> There's no way in hell my son would be a quarterback. He actually wanted to be a quarterback. <laughs> he would be like Culpepper though, he's so big. Despite living in BC, Covington still follows the Ticats and likes what he sees from this year's team. And I can tell they plan as a unit. It's fun because you gotta be like, you gotta be like brothers and you gotta have that. It's like a friendly competition where you wanna just, you just wanna just, let's see who can get there. This year just watching them, I think they, they well coached, they, they, they got some exciting players and uh, they looking real good. So I'm, I'm feeling good about Hamilton's chances of, you know, going all the way. A pretty good endorsement from a guy who knows exactly what it takes to get there. At Iverwin Stadium for Ticats TV, I'm Kate McKenna. Wow, you think that was intense? Wait until we play the Argos in the playoffs. It's not for the faint of heart. <laughs>